Yes, I saw that. Yes, I Welcome to Coach's Corner. Here we go, uh, kicking off our 20th season. Uh, Nick, Billy, Bobby, and of co course, uh, Coach uh, John Aloisi. Uh, Coach, exciting time of year. It always is. I know it's hot. Yeah. Has the heat been killing you? Um, it hasn't been awful. I mean, you know, it, it's definitely, I think when we've had school, kids going through school, it's about 95 in that building, and then going out to practice has been a challenge, but we're getting through it. A couple mean, more days of that. Yeah, yeah. Good. well, I think one more, right? One more. Yeah, Friday, Friday, Friday is seasonal. supposed to be nice, yeah. 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 Um, veteran team. Yeah. A lot of guys returning, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no. Right? We went 9-2 and two last year. Our only two losses were St. John's. Right, to the state champion. Yeah. yeah. So, but that means nothing. No. No, it doesn't mean I anything. mean, Bill Belichick, uh, here we go all over again. Yeah. Because um, they're going to get better. And we're going to have to get better. Exactly. Yeah, and a little bit of a target on our back. Oh, yeah. We won the league two years in a row. Um, you know, district finalists last year, district champs two years ago. I mean, these seniors were 11 and 1 as freshmen, so they've had some success. And, uh, you know, so people are gunning for us. So, like you said, I mean, none of that stuff matters this year. We got a, um, we got a major challenge Friday. So <laughs> we're trying to take it one challenge at a time. They're always, especially going out there. I mean, we've been out there before, right? They always, they always come ready to play. Yeah. At least in the last, maybe not when Billy was playing, because we kind of walked all over him that year. But... You know, in the last 10 years, they're a program now, too. They are. Their program is so, so um, they're very good up front. And offensively, they run the double wing, the two tight ends, the two wings. They pack you down. And they're, they're big, and they're physical, and they, they want to control the ball. So they'll literally go three yards in a cloud of dust if they have to. They go for it on fourth down. So you got to be geared up to stop their run. And uh, it just, it's just a really challenging offense because everybody's packed in. they got five gaps on either side you got to cover. You know, usually a 4-4 four, four defense, there's eight gaps right there. Yeah. You get three deep. Yeah. You know, it's 11 on eight <laughs> in that yeah, offense. Right. Yeah. So you yeah. got to – there's rule breakers on defense for us when we play these guys because they're unique offense. So. You know, the, the most exciting thing to start the season, though, right now, is we're playing on a brand-new field. Right. You know, a brand-new turf field, something to really be excited about. Yeah. Uh, the kids get to play on it, I think, maybe the third game of the season, perhaps. Fourth. Fourth, fourth, fourth game of the fourth. season. So, I mean, the tune-up with Shepherd Hill, which is on turf, is a, you know, you get, start to get into um, a little bit of a role of playing on, on turf. The, the turf looks great. I Doesn't it look it. fantastic? Yeah, it's awesome. Great. Great. You it's know, thank you to the I town was, of Shrewsbury. Yes, thank you very much. I was amazed. I was amazed at how different it is compared to turf fields that Years we've ago. walked on, yeah, before. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tighter. It's more like a rug yeah. to me. You know, some they went through that phase where the they had like ad, almost artificial grass with the tire clippings mm -hmm. in it, yeah. and they found out that that stuff doesn't last, right. right? That's, and now this is, now maybe it'll get once we get using it, but it's it's almost like the nap is really thick. It, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is it beautiful. Is. It's yeah. a good way to kick off our twentieth season, really. Yeah. Yeah. No. You're playing Shepherd Hill, they got turf. You could play in Grafton, second game, they turf. got turf. Groton yeah. Dunstable. I don't think so. You don't that's think a good so. question, though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right. And then home for? Home for, for Lemonster. Lemonster. Which will be homecoming. Oh, okay. And then the next game, St. John's, right back on turf. At St. John's. At St. John's, Saturday. A lot of turf and games. Show is sure. sure. sure turf. No, it's six, sure. game six is all gone. Okay. They got turf. Grass. Oh, no, they got grass. Oh, they're at home? home. At home now, gone. Then at the show, home, no, home to Westboro. Then at the show, then at the show. So they're all they're basically all times. turf. Almost. We're all yeah. turf except for probably Groton Dunstan. Yeah, Groton's but, only what that yeah. might be. Might yeah. be. That might be too. Sure. I can find out. But uh, that's, that's. Do you have to prepare be differently, John? No. I mean the turf. You know, even I think back when I played, it was it was just different. It was harder. You get burns yeah, on it. Yeah, you yeah. know that your joints, your feet would stick in the ground. Now it's it's almost like grass. Yeah, I mean it's a ball. Yeah. Can they us. use regular cleats on that? Yep. Oh, they can. They don't have to change anything. Oh, that's good. I think the game's a little faster. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's kind of an adjustment, but I mean, you know, both teams obviously have to deal with that. So. Uh, how about us? Uh, uh, 
we were talking a little bit beforehand, um, we're always, it seems like we're always undersized. A little undersized again? Um, you know what, we're, we've got a lot of guys in the 220 to 240 range, which is good size, you know. Um, guys that are over 250, you know, the Watch you always seems to have a few of those guys. Shepherd Hill's got a few of those guys. St. John's. We've got a couple of them. But, um, you know, I think we have good sized kids. They're, you know, they're tough, they're explosive, they're strong. We're bigger than we've been the last two years, which is a positive. Um, oh, that's but again, the, the, the big question is how is everybody else? So, right. Uh, right. But, but I think, yeah, we're not, um, I think we're, we're relatively big this year for us, which is a good thing. You know, you really, it's, it's really all about technique. You know that, John. You know, if you get a, even if you've got an undersized center or, or two guards that are small, you know, you can with technique. You can do just as good as a you know a goal. I mean, we've seen it. Right. We've seen it in the past. So. You're, you're right. Technique is important. I, I agree a thousand percent. But really, what it comes down to is what's in here. Yeah, I think that si too. I think si I think all three count. Yeah. 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 If I got well, two eighty on one eighty. That. That's a tough matchup. Right. Yeah. 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 But you know, definitely we've you know we've we got a lot of kids who might be undersized who are. You know, like you said, technical, technically sound, tough, and they get the job done. Yes. I think our big advantage this year will be um, – Quarterback. No, experienced, skilled players. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's where our advantage yes. will be. In the, the quarterback, backfield, yeah. receivers. Yep. Yeah, I tend to agree. Well, yeah. we don't, I don't think offensively we lost Char, uh, Batch, uh, Nate Batch. Oh, I almost yeah. said Charles. Yeah. Nate did a great job at center last year, one-year starter, but yeah. we lost him. Other than that, it's pretty much everybody. Wilkers everybody. Campbell. I yeah. guess I should mention Chris. Yeah, tough yeah. Those two guys. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I think everybody's better. Well, the, 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 the tough part about losing Chris is that chemistry that he and Drew had. I, that the, you know, that's like, that's like Brady and Edelman. I, I, it really was. Yeah, no, you're I, right. I, whenever, right. Whenever Drew got in trouble, it was throw it up, throw it up to Chris. Catch He'll catch it. it. Okay. Yeah, and, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure he's working on that, and I'm sure you have been. Um, how, about, how about the off-season conditioning? How did it go? Awesome. We had um, the kids set a goal this summer of 70% attendance in the weight room. We were, four days a week we had workouts, voluntary workouts. All summer? All summer. Um, Early morning? Or? Uh, we had three sessions because, again, we had so many kids coming. So we'd go at 7, 7, 40, 8, 20, staggered starting times. Um, the older kids come at 7, and then 7, 40, 8, 20. But uh, set, they, they set a 70% attendance goal. We had 72% attendance nice. in the weight room, oh, wow, which was awesome. Good. I mean, that's a... You know, you're looking at 60 to 70 kids in there every day. Wow. That's of, really out of, good. Out of 95. That's really good. So it was, um, it's, it's really good for us in terms of how much we've invested for our conditioning and even just invested in the program. The kids did awesome. It, well, that, it's, that's what it is now. It's a program. And when we first started this 20 years ago, it wasn't a program. It, it really wasn't. We talked about this on the last show, uh, you know, like our kickoff show. It really wasn't a program then, and, and what you and Terry, you and Terry uh, have done, it's just fabulous. And I think, and I've said this all along, and it's not a knock against Terry at all, I think you being in the school, along with Hurdle Ferrian and uh, Lee. Three, seven. 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 Seven guys. You know, Big Tim. All you guys being in the school makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Yes, yeah, so, so sometimes I have to stop and remind myself how lucky I am. Seven guys in the building. That's, that's great. That's, at that's at not, any one rare. time, you yeah, you're right. At any that's one time, yeah. you can your seven guys probably uh, come in contact with ninety percent of the team. Yeah, a lot of eyes and ears too. Up yeah. There. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Any changes in the coaching staff this year? Nope. Good. No, Everybody's which is, which back. Is another real positive. I mean, mm. it's, you know, continuity. It's continuity. Great. Great you know, every year I tell my wife when it gets to August, as we've gotten more continuity, I, I'm less stressed because <laughs> everybody knows the drill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whereas years one and two was very choppy. How's practice is going? Practice is going great. Yeah. I mean, I'm really happy with my coaches. Um, they're, they're awesome. I, I really think I have the best assistants in Central Mass. And the kids have been working hard. I think defensively, we could be really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, just just looking at what we got coming back. Again, you got almost everybody back. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Nine yeah. Our linebacker, our linebackers, and then you got, you, you got, uh, cornerbacks and safeties that could probably play linebacker, right. at other schools. I, I think our defense is going to surprise people. I think so too. Well, last year I think we had two shutouts in three, three games where we held the teams to seven or under. Um, there could have probably been a couple more if they weren't lopsided games. Yeah, where right. We could have right. kept teams under. Right. 
touchdowns. That's you, pretty you impressive. Take, you take your first team is out because right. it's no sense leaving. Yeah, there. Zach Colonel Farring runs the D. He's really hard working and smart, really sharp. So um, he does a great job. Who's uh, who's doing special teams? Coach Jackson, Coach Christian Jackson. Chris yeah. Jackson. He has a new look this year. I saw. All right. Yeah. yeah no. No. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no beard. beard. All yeah. right. He's he's doing a really good job. Thank freshman you, freshman coach. Same. Uh, Coach Diamond Topless, Coach Butterfield. We actually have this year because we have we have 20 freshmen, which typically we have you know 25 to 30. Yeah. So we're doing a JV2 model where some of our lower sophomores oh, will, okay. will go down and play with those kids. So it builds up that. We play other teams, same thing. They play ninth and 10th graders. So it's oh, not okay. a true freshman team this year. Um, but that's okay. It's fun. Yeah. Gets them to play. It, they're playing. Yeah, it's better than... If they were up with us and they're not, they're playing, not playing much, playing, yeah, right. exactly. So no, is, is Lee is Lee ranked right now? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 because numbers are down. He can't be ranked yet. He's got to show us something first. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Basketball although, season doesn't carry forward. Right, right. Although he does need a haircut. Let's yeah, go, Lee. Yeah. Come on. Well, usually they rank the teams before yeah. the season starts, so I figured he'd be. No, no, he's out of the top twenty. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. The numbers are down. He's got to he's got to prove it this year. <laughs> How about yeah. JV? Who's coaching JV? Timmy? Coach Laramie, Coach uh, Brian Kelly. Yep, so they coach varsity, but our, obviously our but JV. But they go and do the Right, on the next, whoever doesn't play a certain number plays Friday, plays Saturday, and those guys go down. They do a good job, too. I mean, we were 9-2 and two last year at JV level. That's pretty good. a good sign as well for this yeah, year. That's pretty good. Yeah. But again, I guess that doesn't count like we talked about, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good sign, but it doesn't count yeah, when you, no, have, to, when you no. have to block and tackle. Yeah, it's, it's the truth. It is. It's the truth. Uh, how about any uh, anything uh, different this year? You uh, you know we've kind of in the last couple of years flip flopped between uh, lots of shotgun and uh, a pistol, and then last year we went more kind of conventional. Well, you know we can't say. That. I know we can't uh, say so much, it's, but it's fine. yeah, I mean we're wing T based. We spread it out though. We'll go like we've done in the past. Yeah. I mean formationally, you know, we run our base plays in condensed sets under center. We run the same plays spread out with just wrinkles on the perimeter. Um, so nothing much new on the offense. A little bit. Some besides, more besides Nick, it's, excuse me, coach. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's much different now than it was 15, 20 years ago, where everything's everything you do is on huddle, mm -hmm. almost right? right. I bet you are the scrimmages on huddle. Oh yeah. See. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I know you. You know, John Belichick over here. I know he likes to keep it close, <laughs> but to his vest, but yeah, I uh, smile. <laughs> 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 and your yeah, lips move when you talk. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't do this. Especially when the John works. Oh my god. It's on I, to show wait a minute, wait a minute. We were at we were at the old high school. We were at the old high school last week and he was coaching your son, right? Your son's playing? Yeah. And I, I yelled out to him, John, Jet Sweep! <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't hear you. It's either that or the X-ISO thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> he still doesn't know what it is. <laughs> we got one-on-one -on -one coverage on the X receiver. Isolation. Okay. Okay. We ran that. I mean, Chris okay. Campbell last year, we, we would put him, we called it socks. We'd put him on the back side because he played the Z front side. We'd put him on the back side. And Every once in a while. Isolate he'd go one-on-one. One -on -one, one -on -one. Well, if they put one-on-one -on -one back side, we'd throw it to him. Towards the, towards the end of the year, nobody was one-on-one -on, -one on Chris, right? Not really. No, a lot of teams were shadowing him. I mean, uh, St. John's did it in the championship. Yes, they yeah. did. They did a good job. Yeah, they yeah. did do a good job. Yeah. Uh, took you him know, away. He is a great he, – he was a great athlete. He's going to be hard to replace. But you had a lot of kids last year that would have been – a lot of these juniors, some of these kids that are coming out here, that would have been starters right. on many teams in Central Mass. But because of how deep we were – you know, they were playing defense or outside. Is there a rumor going around that Drew might play a little defense? He's been practicing on defense a little bit, yeah, at corner. Yep, so not this week. No. Not playing this week. Because no. against this offense, the corners come in tight. They're essentially linebackers. They're linebackers, yeah. yeah. So yeah. not this week, but we'll uh, see. I, we had heard that he's uh, picked up some cat-like moves <laughs> from a friend named Leo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's uh, – he looks really good on defense. He knows what it's all about. Does he? Does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's a good athlete. He, yeah, he is a good athlete. Cat like moves. Cat like from Lee? Picked it up from Lee? That's what I mean. Leo. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> now, if you want to say leadership skills, then I could, I could go with that. But Are you doing anything different on defense? 
I um, heard, just I heard a, little a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Still an even front, but we're doing some little bit of different stuff. Not much. Um, just a lot of the core stuff is still, still the same. Okay. Take a break. All right, we're going to take a quick break and bring on uh, five of the. Uh, they're all captains? All, captains. Right up all five captains. Uh, we we'll be right back. Right Drew's right up in the. Uh, joining us here for the uh, second half, uh, the five senior captains, and uh, uh, I'm going to do a little editorial. Uh, uh, this junior class, junior senior class now, um, has done a tremendous job over the last four years at Shrewsbury High, and I want to commend you all. But you know what? That means nothing now. All right, this is a new year. We got to start all over again. Right here, Cam Schaefer, Drew Campanelli, Nate Hodler, Chris Caputo. And Johnny White, welcome, gentlemen. And how's uh, I know I have to ask you because, of course, I played. And at this time, at this time of spring or whatever you call it, practice, it's getting awful old. <laughs> Is it? I mean, Tim? yeah. I mean, going against everyone or our teammates every day does get a little old. So we're all itching to hit someone in another color. I'd, I'd say that. Yeah. You know. Drew. Uh, I mean, yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to hitting another jersey, and so uh, yeah, get ready for this Friday. Nate, how's uh, how's everything? Uh, how's everything been going? Man, I think it's been going great. Everyone's been ready to play. Everyone wants to get out there. Everyone's you know looking forward to Friday. You know, we've all been you know waiting for this for probably a year now. So you know, everyone is just well like itching to get out there, just like Cam said. Chris, how's the scrimmages been? Pretty good. Everyone's itching to get out there, hitting another jersey, you know, doing their thing out there. Johnny, you look like you got a little bigger. <laughs> uh, a little bit. I put on a couple pounds. Like yeah, that. yeah, you do. You look it. <laughs> yeah. You're not that skinny little junior uh, tailback this That's year. Not. <laughs> <laughs> you looking forward to it? Yeah, very much, yeah. John, fun. talk about it. Well, I mean, I get these guys all huge resumes here. So we got uh, four three-year starters. So John, three-year starter. Nate, three-year starter. Three, well, three and a little three bit and of a quarter. Yeah. Three and a quarter. Three-year starter. Um, Chris, two-year starter. And they've all had. Uh, they, I mean, they've all. If I can make a general point about them, they love football, and uh, you know, they just they're passionate about it. They love being out there, whether it's practice, film, whatever. Um, Drew asked me this morning to watch film before school. We wanted to come in and watch film before school, so we watch film. Just loves it, and uh, they all love it. And they're, uh, makes your job easier. Yeah, absolutely. And it makes it fun when they want to be there and they love the game. Uh, a lot of things fall into place. But, um, yeah, I mean, collectively, as we talked about, they've had a ton of success to this point, and, you know, the challenge is keeping it going this year. But, uh, but I'm really proud of them. They've invested so much themselves in the program. And uh, I think – you know, back-to-back nine-win seasons, again, all the things we talked about, it's a credit to their leadership and the class's leadership on the whole. But again, 
brand new year. Yeah. So big challenge. Bill Belichick doesn't mean anything, you know. Exactly. Uh, what, what are you guys feeling? Um, I mean, this is pretty special. You guys are going to be the first class to play on the new field too. I mean, that's a huge investment by this town to go out and raise that kind of money. Are you excited for that? Yeah, very much. Uh, I just, I don't, we don't, we don't want to let anybody down. We just want to go out there and win. And we don't want to lose on our new turf. So that's a mindset for us. Now you guys haven't been on it yet, right? Uh, picture, just yeah, pictures. Yeah, when you were there. Yeah. That, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Picture day. That was yeah, the only was time you got time, on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been so hot though. You, yeah. you walk past and you see like the steam the coming off. Yeah. You don't want to be on it when it's this hot. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, you know, we had a lot of speed last year. Is this going to help us? I mean, some, t you know, late in the year on a home games when it, you know, all it had to do was rain a little bit and it was like a, a, an ice rink out there. Is it going to help? I mean, I, I definitely think it will. Being on that turf, it's really fast. It's short grass, you just feel quicker when you're on it. I know it is different. I, yeah. I, I know it. It amazes me that it's like that. All right, I'm going to talk to you, Mr. Second Year Captain. How do you replace? You had a tremendous year last year. You had a, a tremendous uh, a group around you, but how do you replace your number one receiver? That's that's the biggest question. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of number one guys behind him. I mean, that were shadowing him all year, so they see what he did. And I think we Phil Smarnios we have right now, who I think can step up in a big spot for us and be a big target. So I'm looking forward to see what he can do. Is Phil going to kick? Yes. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Well, him and uh, Eddie McAdam are, are equally dependable in the PAT. Yeah. I love I love Colin Phil. It takes him an hour and a half to get the ball over the over the upright. And it's good. But, it's but he's only had one blocked, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that was it. Um, schedule is not easy, as, as always. I mean, uh, the first three games on the road, um, Shepherd Hill is Shepherd Hill. I mean, you know, they're going to smack you. It's like, it's like bookends. You get Shepherd Hill at the beginning of the year and watch who's at the end of the year kind of similar teams. They run the similar offense, and they're always big. And then, you know, it doesn't get any easier. you got a long trip to Groton Dunstable. You know, then you got Lemonster at home, and we kind of spanked them last year. Is there anybody on the schedule you're looking to play? Shepard Hill. Shepard Hill. Yeah, we're looking to play. Oh, my Shepard God. Hill. You've done it. Mm. <laughs> you, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. Oh. I used to get, oh, yeah, we look forward to Algonquin, or we look forward to, and now they just want the next game. Has, has now you guys are uh, all seniors now. Has he changed at all in the four years? <laughs> you can be honest, guys. I mean, he's been pretty consistent all four years. I've known him. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> See, I well, he's got something. Go ahead. I think he yeah. trusts us a lot more because we've been around him for three years, two two or three years, so I just feel like we have kind of already a connection and we know what we're both thinking about a certain player, what's going to be open. So I just think we have a kind of like a trust level right now that's just kind of built over time. That was a good answer. 100% true. That was a good answer. Yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah. If, if you feel comfortable giving them something, then go out and do it and execute it. You're still going to get mad if you don't <laughs> execute it, but, but that's okay. Um, how about uh, being captains? Now, Drew, you uh, do not have to answer this. You were a captain last year, but it's different. You have a different role now. Last year, you could you could rag on him or give him a hard time. Oh, yeah, Drew, okay. But now you guys are there, um, and everybody's looking up to you. And it's not, you know, the thing, the thing too is, what I'm noticing more and more, it's not just your teammates that are looking up to you. It's all those little kids in blue mm -hmm. that, that play, you know, they look up to you too, and it, it makes a difference. Has it, has it changed you? Uh, definitely. I mean, seeing a bunch of little kids show up to the game looking up at us thinking we're like some sort of NFL players definitely changed how you think about what we're playing right now or the sport we're playing. You just know it's bigger than just football. Nate, Chris? I mean, in practice, like, you know, if you know we're lacking in practice, like, you know, I used to look at someone else to, you know, take the reins and say, hey, we got we to gotta focus up right now. I mean, that's us, and we gotta, you know, always make sure, you know, we're always leading by example, showing everyone what to do and everything. Yeah, it's a lot more responsibility than what people think it is. So. 
Yeah, all those little freshmen are looking up at you guys and saying, that I want to be them someday. Johnny. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, I, I, I try to focus on doing the right thing all the time now. When I, when I wasn't a captain, like, I mean, whether it, it was, was easy like, to kind of. It was easy to slack off. Or, yeah. But I, I think, I, uh, like, as a captain, I, I try to do everything right all the time and set a good example. You know, I didn't even ask you, Cam, last year you played wide out and D back. Yep. What are you doing this year? I mean, this year I got big shoes to fill. I'm going to be in the Z where uh, right. Soup was. Okay. So, I mean, it's definitely a big step to try to get over. He was a huge part of our offense last year, but I feel like I'm ready to kind of step in and take over that position. I'm not even going to ask you because you stay off the defensive end, okay? Don't even think about going out there. I don't want to hear it. Johnny, you got a couple of callers? Oh, my God. Let's go. Yeah, with me. <laughs> All right, first, first question was uh, – uh, how many seniors are there playing this year? How many seniors do you have back? And the second question, actually there were three. Second question was, um, how deep are you in running back, the running back position? Oh and the last question <laughs> is, Coach Aloisi, are you participating in an ice bucket challenge next week? <laughs> um, I guess all three of those are for me, right? Yeah. Well, who's the, well, how many seniors? 27 seniors. 27 seniors, yeah, that's a big number. And uh, second question was depth at running back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean. What do you got, like seven or eight guys you could throw in there? Yeah, well, in our offense, we, you know, the backs are versatile guys. They can go in the slot or come back. You played some running back yeah. last year, too. Yeah, he's one. We moved him all around. We yeah. moved Chris all around last year, yeah. too. But um, it's really a three running back offense, um, which you can spread out. Yeah, Johnny and uh, Alex Cashman. Oh, yeah. So, again, Cashman, all, all yeah. three years. Uh, all returning starters from last year. So we have, I feel like we are very strong at the running backs position. It's probably one of our strongest spots. Um, you a little you know, weak I, at tight end? Um, no, I think we're good. I mean, I think, uh, yeah. I'm kidding you. Man. I'm kidding you, man. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, St Stavros Maniatis has uh, stepped in, and uh, he's going to be. He's he a played junior. a little, did he play? Little no, little? he played JV last year. He had a really strong year, but he lifted hard this summer, and, and he looks good. Nate's gonna need a break at times uh, on offense. So, um, and then the ice bucket challenge. Uh, <laughs> I don't know of any particular challenge that I'm participating in, but uh, I'll wait for my invitation. Uh, I would think you're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate. Tight end, linebacker, right? Yep. What do you like better? I, I have to go with linebacker. I mean, you know, it's fun. You know, chasing people down, making the tackle. Bring the Tight end's fun, but like. Yeah, it's, it's nothing like getting a big hit or, you know, getting a pick and stuff like that. Those defense, you can't get the defensive guys to love offense, and he's a D guy. you got a lot of D guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chris? Uh, linebacker, easily. So y'all so y'all playing linebacker in line? Yep. So he, th these are your two middle linebackers? Yep, and uh, we got Tucker Montague and um, an Akram Nostri. I mean, we've got four guys over two spots. Johnny? Uh, I hope Coach HT is not watching, but I like offense more. I like <laughs> he wants the rock. Yeah, I know that. But you're playing D back too, right? Yeah, corner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it's getting late. We got to wrap it up. Uh, I know you're all seniors. It's too early to start. We'll have that when you're on later in the year. We'll talk about where you're going to go. Uh, good luck this week against Shepherd Hill. Uh, it's going to be nice to be uh, looking across the line at somebody other than your teammates. Uh, good luck, Coach. Coach. Big challenge this week. Can't wait. I know you can. Yeah, yeah. I can't either. <laughs> Good. All right. We'll see you next time on uh, Coach's Call.